Hi, Pisces. This is going to be your career and financial outlook for the next three months, January, February, and March. I'll also take a look at the remainder of December for you to see what may be coming in. Um, these are going to be general messages. They're not going to resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind. And you guys, if you haven't checked out the 2022 forecast that I uploaded for you a few weeks ago, you may want to check that out. Um, a partnership is going to be really important for you next year. Um, probably in, you know, all areas of your life. We'll see what comes through today. Um, <clears throat> I've been offering these uh, 2022 forecasts to the collective since I started the channel, but this year I was inspired to actually offer them as private readings. So they are available on my website if you're interested in that. I am going to pin a comment down below with a link to my website and I have two options for the forecast, 45 minutes and an hour and a half. You can also go on there to book other readings with me and subscribe to my newsletter if you're interested. I am also going to include links in the pinned comment to my social media sites, Facebook and Instagram, if you'd like to connect with me there. And then lastly, I did want to mention that um, the majority of the decks that I use on the channel are listed in the description box with a link next to each one that will take you to my Amazon storefront and you can just browse away. All right. So Pisces. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> we've got the warrior rune for you. I love seeing this come in. This is the overall energy for this reading. And this is about the spiritual warrior. And, you know, it's, it's really um, about bravery and courage, determination and perseverance. It's a very, very strong energy. Um, but, you know, there, there is a message about, you know, the, the battle with the spiritual warrior is always with oneself. It's about getting out of your own way and then just, you know, forging a path forward. So the first energy, um, the first card that we've got is from the moonology deck and it's a void of course moon and it says nothing will come of the situation now there are a few ways to read this card one way is that what you're hoping for is not going to happen okay and sometimes you know sometimes that's just the way it is and if things don't come together the way that we want them to um, it's simply because there's something better coming in there's another way and another message um, for the the warrior rune is remain unattached to outcomes so you may be really fixated on something coming together exactly the way that you want it to as far as career and if it doesn't come together it just there is something better you guys okay so don't get hung up on that now the other message from this card is that your worst fears won't be realized so if you're in your head if you're in that eight or nine of swords energy about something really try to redirect it because this is saying that your worst fears are not going to be realized we've got a woman holding a heart um so this could be you this could be um someone else um it could be a woman it doesn't have to be it's just an energy but this is somebody who is probably pretty soft-spoken um is very compassionate um very sensitive um very intuitive um really uh, very sophisticated in tuning into people is what I'm feeling. And I'm what I'm sensing is that this woman or this person is going to show up and she's going to be able to help you with career and finance. Okay. 
So it's very interesting that partnership came up in your 2022 forecast. And now as far as career and finance, there, there is a potential partner showing up for you. Um, and I don't feel that this is a romantic um, situation um, because it's not a love reading. It's not even really a general reading. It's very specific. Um, but I do feel like this person is very much going to help you. We've got between the worlds. Um, I love this card because this is about a transition. This is about a transformation. Um, and, and, you know, the, the energy within the collective has really been about that phoenix rising, that metamorphosis, the death card's been coming through, justice. Um, so with this, it's like you're moving from one world into the next but right now you're between worlds. So here, um, you know, it's it's kind of dreary. It's like that very gray scale um, color and energy. It's kind of dreary. It's almost like you're not realizing your dreams and you're on your way over here to this vibrant, vibrant place. Um, you're almost there. So don't give up. Um, yet don't collapse yourself into expectations. Let go of your need um, for a particular outcome, okay? And just keep moving forward. So that's from the Energy Oracle and the Wisdom Oracle deck, you guys. And now I'm pulling from the Quantum Oracle. So I feel like, um, yeah, there's going to be a big shift for you. Now we've got the loving man, and this is in a career and finance reading. This is really interesting, you guys. Okay, um, definitely about a partnership. You could meet someone um, at work. You could, a coworker could introduce you. Um, there, yeah, there's, there's definitely a love situation that could happen for you um, within co your career, your job, or finance. But I'm also seeing this loving man as a potential mentor. And it's really interesting, you guys, because um, when I was doing the Aquarius reading, you could be on the cusp of Aquarius, the King of Cups came through for Aquarius. And I really felt like that was their energy, um, but it's kind of the same thing. It's like this is somebody who could be a mentor, who really takes an interest in you, who really wants to help you um, break through this barrier in career and or finance um, because you are in between worlds. And so I do feel like there is a barrier that you need to move through. And this loving man, this caring man is here to help you break through that barrier. That's kind of what it, what's coming through. Um, but there could also be a romance that develops. Okay, so you guys, now I'm pulling from the archetype cards. And you got the child, the divine child. I love this. Um, this is the archetype that you may be embodying in the first quarter of the year when it comes to work and finance. Um, the light attributes of this are innocence, purity, and redemption. It suggests a special connection with the divine. Um, so what I'm feeling, there is this card, and this came through, um, a, similar, a similar energy came through for another one of the signs. There's a card in the Mystical Shaman deck, and it is the child card. And it talks about going back to that childlike innocence, really going back to a beginner's mindset before you learned all the things that you know now, um, before you had all these disappointments um, 
and these failures and these losses um, before you know people took advantage of you. It's really about letting go of all that and starting with a fresh set of eyes. It is almost like that full energy. This is something that's going to help you. So it's about letting go of everything from the past because those things can really hold us back. They can make us, our experiences can keep us from taking risks, okay, and stepping out of our comfort zone and trying new things. What this is saying is it's really time to go back to, you know, square one and just pretend like um, everything is fresh and new and then, you know, just take action on that path with a fresh set of eyes. So you guys, I'm going to take a look at December. Okay, so you may have been going through some power struggles, dealing with some egos as far as work is what I'm getting, or a financial system. Uh, um, situation. Um, but what what's really coming up for me is this is going to be ending. So anybody that you've been um, struggling with, um, not, um, you know, not meeting eye to eye on something, um, this is going to be resolved because the justice card is coming through. Um, when I see the justice card, this is about a decision made in your favor. This is about things balancing out. And I do read this as a karmic cycle that is ending. And when I did the 2021 readings for all the signs, one of the themes was karma releasing. So I do feel this card has been coming through for so many of the signs. It's unreal. Um, I do feel like a karmic cycle is ending for you in career and finance. Any struggles with others, um, those are just going to kind of fade away. And your attitude is really going to help that situation. This mentor that's coming in, these, these beautiful energies that are coming in are really going to help you go through this transition and really leave these old patterns, these old situations behind. We got the Page of Swords that's coming in, and this is about a new chapter. It is about being a, an observer, really observing what's going on, really paying attention to it, and using your logical mind, paying attention to those red flags so that you don't get in to a situation like this again, you know, in a power struggle with others. You don't want the drama. Um, so let's, that's for the remainder of December. Let's look at January. I like it. We've got the sun card. This is about abundance, expansion, potential, joy, happiness, possibilities, um, opportunities, doors opening. So I do feel that there's going to be a lot fresher energy when it comes to career. There's potential to really increase your finances because this card does represent abundance health, vitality. We've got the Knight of Wands. I love this coming through. Um, so I do feel in the month of January, you're going to be reinvigorated. You're going to be excited, um, determined, um, you know, ready to just take off. And that, that Knight of Wands is very much this spiritual warrior um, energy. Um, so those two are just amplifying, magnifying that energy. I love it. Um, so it's like a brand new beginning. We've got the two of swords coming through, but it's coming through in the reverse. And so I feel like you're going to be able to break through any indecision. Um, this could be what's keeping you trapped between worlds, what's keeping you stuck from making this transition. Um, but I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough in January. Um, so you're just going to make a decision and start moving forward. And it is going to lead to a lot of happiness, a lot of success, a lot of um, possibility for you.
And then in February, we've got the Queen of Pentacles coming through. We've got the Two of Cups and we've got the Four of Swords. Um, this is really interesting because normally I would see this woman holding a heart as the Queen of Cups, but it could also be the Queen of Pentacles. This is a very, um, I'm sorry, this is a very uh, down to earth, very caring, nurturing person, very, very grounded. Um, it's the mother archetype. And then we've got the Two of Cups coming in next to it. Um, which does indicate partnership. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is about abundance and stability. And so I feel like this person is the same energy as the woman holding the heart. Um, the Two of Cups represents partnership. Um, it could be a love partnership. That It could be somebody that you meet at work. Um, one of your colleagues introduces you to someone, something like that. Um, so it could go either way. It could start out as a business association that ends up um, turning into love, um, or it could simply remain a business partnership, um, some sort of uh, you know collaboration, something like that. With the Four of Swords coming through, I feel like um, with the Five of Wands coming through in December next to the Justice card, you've probably been screwed over in business before or extremely disappointed, um, maybe not seeing eye to eye with others. And I feel like um, there's been, it's caused a lot of disappointment because the Three of Swords would be before the Four of Swords, obviously. Um, but I am feeling that you've recovered, okay, sufficiently, and now you're ready to take another risk on a potential partnership or collaboration. And this is going to bring you a lot of success is what I'm feeling. Not everybody is out to get us. So, you know, this is really about going back to that child, that child mind, that, that innocence, um, that place of innocence. We've got the King of Pentacles coming through in March. That's amazing. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles in February, the King of Pentacles in March. This is a matched set. So it could be a potential um, love situation that happens um, through work or at work, um, but it could also be like a progression. Um, you know, it's like we start off the year um, with the sun and the knight of wands, and then we get into February, the queen of pentacles, and then we, we progress to the king of pentacles. And so I just am sensing that as the year continues on, you are going to increase your stability, your security, your finances, um, and you know, your knowledge base, your experience, um, you're going to fully be able to make this transition. Um, your confidence is going to increase. You're going to be at this place of self mastery is what I'm feeling. You're going to be feeling on top of the world. And this card has been coming through for so many of the signs, you guys, justice and the king of pentacles. And so I really do feel like it is time for us to all, you know, have an increase in our abundance um, and our confidence. So yeah, it looks like that's happening. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I love that. Um, so next to the King of Pentacles, we've got the Queen of Cups coming through. Um, so, you know, with the, we, we've got all these people on the board and so, or on the table. And I do feel like these are people that are coming in to help you. Um, these are going to be um, collaborations, mentors. Um, these are allies for you. Um, with this Queen of Cups, same energy as woman holding a heart. 
Um, we've got these very caring, nurturing energies coming up on the board. Um, and, you know, these are going to help get you to the next level. Um, these people, it's like they are team players. They're not working against you. They're not competing with you. They're going to help you achieve your dreams. And then we've got the page of pentacles. This is about planning for the future. It's a new chapter. Um, it's really, uh, you know, thinking about the way forward. And so what I'm sensing is that, yeah, you're going to have, it's almost like you're creating a team. And um, it's going to bring in so much success, a lot of stability. Um, these people are like advisors for you. So I feel like you're going to be calling in these advisors, whether it's a formal situation or just somebody that you really respect, okay? Somebody that you, you think very, very highly of. But I do feel like there are a lot of advisors coming in for you and it's really going to pave the way for you, Pisces. So um, really positive energies. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you did enjoy the video, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new content. Sending you guys lots of love as you continue on your journey. Bye-bye.